What's up, geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video, and today we are going to talk about hypocrisy on the internet, losers on the internet, dudes that sit when they pee, these types of guys that cannot stop running their mouths about geeks and gamers. Geeks and gamers is toxic. Geeks and gamers never says anything positive. Geeks and gamers never plays games. All they do is complain about identity politics. Jeremy is so angry. Jeremy is so intimidated by the mere sight of a woman. Jeremy doesn't like black people. They don't do anything fun. Where's the positivity when we do things that are fun? When we show the Geeks and Gamers team and members of uh, YouTube that we're connected to and we're having fun, they never talk about it. Why? They will spend, these losers will spend like months complaining about me because I called out a Hollywood studio for identity politics. They'll spend months breaking it down, labeling me a racist and a sexist. When you label someone a racist and a sexist, I guess it would be a little difficult to then highlight streams like this where me and my friends are all having fun playing video games. These streams, no mention of identity politics, no mention of Hollywood, no mention of get woke, go broke, no mention of SJWs. And these people that are constantly complaining about me never mention them. Why? Because it doesn't fit the narrative. They sit there all the time critiquing my content and my decisions and the things I do. And then they label me with all of these horrible labels. Yet they never talk about these streams. They never talk about any of our video game streams on any of our other channels. They never talk about it. And they never talk about these videos, these edited videos that are uploaded to the main channel. They never talk about it. And I just got to thinking about that. And not that I haven't been noticing it because I've been very aware of it. I pay attention to everything. And I, I get a lot of motivation out of the people that spend all of their time lying about me. I get so much motivation out of it. But I'm also not going to mention them by name because that's what they want. They want me. They want me to mention their names so that they can respond. Say, Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers mentioned me. Yet, you, you say how much you hate me. You say how insignificant I am. But when I mention you, and I've done it before, and I learned from my mistakes, uh, when I would mention them before, they would go crazy. They would act like something, in, something significant happened in their life because Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers mentioned them. But at the same breath, they say how, how irrelevant I am and how I'm not important and nobody listens to me, yet then on the same hand they say everyone listens to me and I have all this influence and you know I'm the reason Solo lost money because Solo did lose money and Raylos are weird. But then they say, well, he couldn't make a dent in the Captain Marvel box office. And I'm just going, you guys have a far bigger opinion of me than anyone that follows this channel does. Like, People that watch this channel, that support this channel, they understand that I do have a voice. It's not near as powerful as the people that hate me think it is, though. They think that I have the power to, to have an impact on a major multi-hundred million dollar movie project. They think me with my, my little bitty channel, they think I have that much influence. But at the same time, they say I have no influence and I'm irrelevant. And then they, they love to point out when this type of video doesn't get a lot of views, but then they complain when other videos get views. So their whole problem is such a mixed bag that they don't even know why they don't like me. But my question to those people that spend all of this time critiquing my videos and saying that why doesn't he make this type of content? Why doesn't he feature different people on his channel? My question to those channels are, why don't you ever break down any of our video game highlights, why don't you ever break down any of these videos that we do? Why don't you break down all of our other channels? Why is your single focus all about the main Geeks and Gamers channel? And the fact that they, they watch the main Geeks and Gamers channel, they're obsessed with the numbers on the main Geeks and Gamers channel. And they think that if the main Geeks and Gamers channel is suffering, then suddenly Geeks and Gamers must be, must be in trouble. Well, I got news for you. If Geeks and Gamers was in trouble, I would be making four and five videos a day on this channel. The fact that I don't focus on this channel on a daily grind, like constantly, means we have a lot going on. Sports Wars is at 100,000 subs. 
My personal channel is almost at 90,000. Park Hoppin's about to hit 10. Game of Geese just hit 10. The website's doing great. The Twitch channel's doing great. So the fact that the Geeks and Gamers channel, we don't upload four or five videos a day anymore, is a sign that Geeks and Gamers is doing fantastic. So maybe, maybe you should just realize that I'm playing on a different level than you. And you're just not going to keep up with me. You're just not good enough. And that's the reality of the situation. But I can't wait for your critical breakdown of the Mario Kart video to expose me as a racist and a sexist who is holding back women and minorities. I can't wait for that breakdown. I appreciate you taking the time to critique the Mario Kart video. I know you're going to do it because, I mean, why, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you highlight those videos? It's almost like... That would challenge everything you've ever said about me. Uh, maybe that's why you don't mention those videos at all. It's very interesting. One thing you have to understand is that you're always going to have people that don't like you for any various amount of reasons. And a lot of the people that don't like me are projecting because they have a lot to hide. Jeremy doesn't like women and we respect women. Really? What do you got to hide? Why are you so focused on labeling other people these ist and these isms. What do you have to hide? Because when someone is pushing that hard to label other people that they don't know, that they don't care to do the research, they're pushing that hard to label other people these things, you have to ask your question, what does this person have to hide? And that's how I want you to look at all of these people that label me these things, but never mention anything about geeks and gamers that goes against their narrative. These people are losers. There's a reason that they spend all day crying about me and not worrying about making their own content and building their own platform because they don't have the ability. So, I appreciate you guys. And again, if you have not, please go watch this Mario Kart breakdown. It's fantastic. Um, we're just having fun. We're just... It, it's chaos. It's, it's yelling. It's screaming. Ivan's edit is great. Um, and, uh, it's just, there's, uh, so Ivan right. did this oh, when we were arguing. Wait, I get it. Y'all build one girl from Canada. Canada. I'm the most just popular motherfucker on this thing. Black 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 Wait one. What the fuck is Uche yeah, in first four? That is Uche. You could do it. Some, a to me, bit. the worst is the volcano. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, 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 the this <laughs> is so good. Um, but uh, anyway, we do have an Epic Game Clips channel where we're just uploading different clips from video games because we're playing a lot of games here between Twitch, Gaming with Geeks, um, and we've got a lot going on. So there's just funny clips that happen throughout you know, the video game plays. And so we're just uploading random stuff over there. Chris is doing a fantastic job with those edits and everything else we have going on. Game Away Geeks is doing good. Uh, thank you guys for the support. I do appreciate you so much. I appreciate all of your support. The team appreciates it. We're doing great things. Um, and we're only able to do that because of you. Um, so I do appreciate all of you. Have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video. And Solo did lose money. Raylos are weird. Fuck Naughty Dog. And we will talk to you later.